Good evening. Welcome to my page. You know, as I told you, I'm not coming to you from my personal Facebook account, but from Hospitality Network. Okay? This evening, I'll be doing something very simple. It's Chinese. Okay? All right. So what I'm going to be making for you is the egg drop soup very very easy uh, you know I used to work at this Chinese restaurant back in the days and uh, this was the Jade Garden in Kingston Jamaica it was one of the best if not the best restaurant in Jamaica the best and the most expensive restaurant and egg drop soup was one of my favorites uh, we did um, egg drop soup wonton soup chicken and cream corn soup you know, swimming. Okay, so I'll be making the egg drop soup for you. All right, so there are three major ingredients uh, that make up this egg drop soup, and that's chicken stock, cornstarch, and egg. Okay, so let me light my stove. Right. Add the chicken stock. Uh, I'm using two cups of chicken stock. I'm going to add some season. Now I made up this, stock, this chicken stock from a roast chicken I did. I cut the back off and used it to make the chicken stock. But you know you can buy the one from the store. You know we're gonna put in a little seasoning, uh, a little sugar, just a little sugar, salt, a pinch, uh, white pepper. We should be using. I don't have any white pepper, but if you don't have white pepper. You can use black pepper, that's okay. Just a little pinch and some sesame oil. If you don't have sesame oil, then you can use olive oil, but sesame oil is, is the one to use. Then you're gonna mix cornstarch. You're gonna mix some a tablespoon and a half cornstarch. This is, this is two, um, two cups, so let me turn on the flame a bit. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna pour this cornstarch in, mix it around a bit because we don't want it to, to clog up. If you don't have cornstarch, you can use um, flour, but you have to, use twice the amount of cornstarch. So if it asks, I said one and a half um, tablespoon cornstarch, then you're gonna use um, three tablespoon flour. All right, now the next thing is we're gonna add the eggs. I'm gonna use two eggs. And I'm going to whisk. You can use a, a fork if you don't have a whisk. Then you're going to add the egg to the to the stock. Let me put it into a measuring cup because I want it to come out slow so I can drizzle it in. So you take a time, pour it, drizzle it in, stir, 
You know, once the heat touches the egg, it's going to coagulate, right? And we want some little flowers. This egg is going to form some little flowers into the, um, into the pot. And this dish is very easy to prepare, 15 minutes and you should be all good. Alright, so we have our Chinese spoon here and um, Chinese bowl. It's all ready. Let me turn the stove off. And I'm going to ladle it into the bowl. Hope you can see that. And um, you garnish with some scallion. Bring it a little close over so you can see. Garnish with some scallion. And it's all good now. Oh my God. This is so good. You got to try this at home. Same thing that you go to the Chinese restaurant to order. You can cook it at home. But coming up, I'll be doing chop suey, fried rice, sweet main, you name it. You can also add, you can add a little um, vegetable if you want. They don't really add that at the Chinese restaurant, but you know, if you want to add something, you know, to it, you know, tomato or, you know, these are some carrots I'm adding to it. Check my video before. I did show you how to use a chopstick. You know, I'll be doing it again because some people are requesting and um, some people are asking what happened to the salad dishes. You know, some people are asking what happened to the cocktails, but remember, this is food and beverage service. We are not only doing cooking. So we are cooking and we are doing mixing, mixology, which is the bartending, and we are doing food and beverage service for, uh, service for servers and for, for uh, party planners, okay? So i got to mix it a little bit, a little of this and a little of that. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. Remember to like, comment, and share.